Ebola virus is a deadly puzzle, yet it is a puzzle with remarkably few pieces. To see these pieces, we need to zoom in beyond what this electron micrograph can show us and view the virus on the molecular level. Ebola virus RNA contains only seven genes, each producing a protein the virus needs to survive and replicate itself. The surface glycoprotein forms the coat of the virus, seeking host cell attachment points and facilitating invasion of the host cell. It is also the target of antibodies that the immune system raises to fight the Ebola virus. The L protein is an RNA polymerase that makes copies of the viral RNA with the assistance of transcription activator VP30. Like many viral polymerases, the L protein is a potential target for antiviral drugs. A structure of the L protein is urgently needed. The nucleocapsid protein binds viral RNA and wraps it up into a flexible rod. Proteins VP35 and VP24 each play dual roles, helping to suppress the host cell's immune response to the virus while also stabilizing the structure of the nucleocapsid rod. Matrix protein VP40 plays at least three different roles in different configurations. As a cyclic octamer, it binds to RNA and is involved in viral replication. As a dimer, it transports the elements of the nucleocapsid to the host cell membrane where, upon arrival, it is reconfigured into a hexamer that forms the filamentous matrix necessary for assembling and budding new copies of the virus. When we know the shape and structure of proteins, we can use that information to discover drugs and vaccines to disrupt their function. The more we understand about the structure of Ebola virus proteins, the closer we are to slowing or stopping the spread of the disease.